What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. We got some fashion going on here. I leveled up a little bit, and I'm able to equip the Elite Knight set, or the Elite Knight top. So I got a little bit of poise, a little more defense, and we get to hear this awesome clanking when we run. But I gotta wear the Mask of the Father, so, yeah. This is, this is, this, this is fashion. I do love the Elite Knight set, though. It's one of the coolest looking sets, and I love that it's in every Dark Souls. But today, we're going to finish up with Lost Isolith. Maybe, depending on how long that takes, which might be longer than I'm expecting. Wait a minute. Am I going to be able to do his quest doing this like this? Is he even going to be down here, is the question. Hmm. 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 Uh. I don't know. He's going to be here or not. Hey, hey, okay, okay, that's fair. That's completely fair. I, is he gonna be here? I honestly don't, I don't know if he's gonna be here or not. I didn't send the goddamn elevator back up. Where's the button? Oh, it comes up by itself. Is he... Because we meet Siegmeier down here, which I know I've been calling him Siegward. I'm pretty sure this one's Siegmeier. Siegward is DS3. But there's another part of his quest that is triggered in the Duke's archives. So I don't know if we're going to meet him down here if we don't trigger that part. Which if we don't, I'll just come back and show it off later. It's not a big deal. I was hoping I'd be able to wield Grant with my uh, um, endurance jacked up, but I cannot, which I think it's 40. I'm going to have full stamina. Stamina maxes it. I think it'll be 40. I'll have full stamina. Mm, I'm tempted to not finish Lost Isolith because I don't know. I don't want to backtrack too much, so I'm tempted to do this next part that I'm getting ready to do and then just head to the Duke's archives but I want Lost Isolith out of the way because I don't like it it's just not a good level basically Centipede Demon. This guy was born from the spot. I think it's supposed to be Ceaseless Discharge's arm. Don't zoom punch. And he's annoying because you get to fight him on these couple of little islands. Don't zoom punch. There's actually a cheese you can do to this boss that involves him grabbing you and falling through the world. Will you stop that? If he doesn't stop that, I'm not gonna be able to fucking hurt him. Bro, you need to stop. I would appreciate it if you came over here. Thank you. I missed. What? Okay. Can you not? What? Oh, he's doing his grab. Shit. He's doing it again. I'm trying to. No, I wanted to roll. I just wanted to roll. Pop a 
was a rolling stone. He's gonna flatten me. Yep. He gets a lot of hang time with that move. He's doing his grab. So yeah, if he does that, you can actually, god damn you. I don't know if it works in Remastered, but he'll, uh, oh god. Did he just try to nuke me? I don't care if my Wi-Fi connection is lost. And that centipede demon. <laughs> you can cut off his, uh, tail. And it'll become an, its own enemy. So that is what we wanted. We need the orange charred ring, for lack of a better word. An orange ring enchanted by a witch reduces lava damage. Since his sores were inflamed by lava from birth, his witch sisters gave him this special special ring but fool that he is he readily dropped it and from that spot a terrible centipede demon was born this was worn by ceaseless discharge who was the son of the witch isola and his sisters gave him this magical ring that would hopefully ease the pain that he had from all of the oozing lava sores but he's an idiot and he kept dropping it yeah but it allows us to traverse lava with minimal um damage to ourselves I don't know if that's actually supposed to be for anything. I don't know why I'm healing. But I don't think there's anything in his boss. I thought there was something in his boss room. <sighs> Some green titanite. Oh yeah, I don't have my Havel's ring, so fat. off. We are going to be coming up to a bonfire, and I think Solaire should be here. Yep, there he is. Why? Why? After all this search, I still cannot find it. Why? After all this search, I still cannot find it. So Solaire has been searching for his own son, and he's yet to find it, so he's starting to kind of get depressed. At this point, if you have not killed the red-eyed sunlight maggot, I think, yeah, I think it's at this point if you haven't done it, um, Solaire will go insane, and you have no um, choice in saving him. But, uh, guess what? Dragon butt. A lot of dragon butts. I actually think they're called bounding demons, and reading what people, like, I was reading up on, I, I wiki dive randomly just for the shiggles, and people were talking about what these things are, and they're dinosaurs, they're this, they're that. What they appear to be is the back half of an undead dragon, which you can see that in... Um, what you call it? Uh, that one area, um, Valley of the Drakes. Because when you attack that undead dragon that's there, you see the back half of it fall into the chasm. You can also see it way more clearly in the painted world of Ariamis or Ariandel. I'm sorry, or is it Ariamis? Which one is? This is the wrong one. Um, where if you kill the undead dragon it leaves behind a dragon butt. And this is part of why I think Isolith is kind of lazy, because it doesn't really make sense for... I don't understand why dragon butts are here. This is not a mimic, I don't think. And then I read somewhere that somebody said that they have heads. They don't have heads. If you look at where a head would be, it's nothing but a vertebrae that looks like a head, because that's part of the spine. But they don't, they used to have insane aggro ranges, and they would aggro like the minute you sat foot into here. But their aggro range is nowhere near what it was in the original Dark Souls. In fact, they will pretty much leave you alone from what I've seen unless you attack them. I'm not going to attack them because I have no reason to. They drop, I think they have chances to drop 
something. And they, I don't think the dragon buffs respawn. Where is the goddamn... There it is. Go ahead and repair our gear. There was a glow off in over here somewhere. I thought Oh god, Dragon Butt. No Dragon Butt. No, Dragon Butt. I won't fight you, Dragon Butt. Go away, Dragon Butt. Actually, I am going to... ...become humane. Because we will get invaded one last time by, uh... ...Kirk down here. I'm gonna go ahead and kindle. Before I go into New Game Plus... I want to kindle all my bonfires as much as I can. Might have to go farm some more humanity from the from the Babu skeletons. They're not a bad way to farm humanity. The problem is, is if they do drop humanity. I don't remember if I showed it off. I know I showed off farming them a little bit in the post commentary episode. How was that like episode seventeen or something? but I don't think I actually got them to drop any. I went back and farmed them since. And the problem is they respawn infinitely and the humanity that they drop, their corpses disappear so fast that if you're not quick, you have run the risk of losing the humanity that they drop. Where's my Havel's ring? There's my Havel's ring. We are in... Lost Isleth. That is a statue. This one's not. Weird demon statues. Like I said, from a lore perspective, I like Isleth. I really like Isleth from a lore perspective. I love, you know, the Witch of Isleth, all that. I really like that stuff. It's cool. But from gameplay, you can tell that Isleth isn't done. Like, it's it's plainly obvious. And again, Meta Chaos is probably the worst gimmick fight in a Souls game. No, please don't do this to me. I don't think Blood... Did Bloodborne have a gimmick fight? I don't, I don't think Bloodborne had one. Demon Souls had Dragon God. DS2, I don't think, really had a gimmick fight. DS2 really doesn't have too many memorable boss fights, though. Like, people shit on DS2, and DS2 had its problems, but DS2's still a really good game. Brought in a lot of cool mechanics. No, don't. Like, power stancing. I wish power stancing was still around. Shit, this is really cool. My fucking club is too big, and I keep hitting the ceiling. My stick is better than bacon. I know I made that joke earlier when I first got the club. You're not dead? What? How are you not dead? But that is still... I, I love bad lip reading, and the songs that come out of the Star Wars bad lip reading are so good. And that's like my favorite one. Where do you fuckers keep coming from? Go away. Bad demon monster thing. Okay. So yeah, I don't know if Siegward, Siegmeier, ah, Chaos Eaters, he's cute and adorable, and he wants to kill me, but I killed him first. Chaos Eaters, I'll say, I'm pretty, wow, I was going to say they have a chance to drop Red Titanite Slabs, but it's a rare rare drop. Okay, you got us a red Titanite slab. Awesome. It's gonna go into a chaos weapon. Do I wanna just meme it up and chaos infuse the Zvi Hander? The Zvi Honda. Right, item. Another item. Goddamn statue monsters. 
More goddamn statue monsters. What are you, soul? Yes, soul the hero. That's some big boy souls. I'm hoping to get my endurance to 40. Uh-oh. Did I fuck up? I think I done fucked up, Jim. Jim, I fucked up. What'd you fuck up for? I don't know, Jim. I don't even know you, Jim. That's okay, because my name's not Jim. Alright, Jim. I'm gonna back up and get this item. And Isla is not that big either. I'm pretty sure we're almost at the end of it. Oh, you can actually see up there a person. So, yeah. But I have to... Before... If Siegward, Siegmeier, whichever one it fucking is, isn't down here, then we're gonna postpone Izalith and we'll, uh... Ooh, a rare ring of sacrifice. Because if we beat Bad Chaos, I don't think we can continue his quest. So it's not a big deal. We'll just have to head to the Duke's archives, and this will be like a weird half Izalith, half not Izalith episode. I thought Kirk would have invaded by now. Actually, that's the way I want to go. This leads to where Siegmeier is. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm so gonna die. Keep coming at me. I don't think he's down. We'll head that way in a second. Because that is the respawning Titanite demon. Because Siegmeier should be right over in here somewhere. Because the floor fucking collapses. He should be right in there, I thought. Yeah, he should be, like, right here, so we might not be able to continue his quest. Unless I've triggered the part in the Duke's archives. Hmm, that's somewhat problematic. Oh, he's right there, okay. Alright, well, first... Are you gonna attack me? No, you're not. Alright, well, let's talk to Siegmeier. So... This part of Siegmeier's quest can get ended prematurely. Before we do this, I'm going to go over this. So, basically, Siegmeier and I are going to jump down into this pit, and we have to kill all of these Chaos Eaters. If Siegmeier ends up with 50 per less than 50% of his health after the fight is over, he gives you, I think, a Speckled Stone Plate Ring, and he dies. If you go down there and kill everything and then come back and talk to him, he gives you a speckled stone plate ring and he just leaves and his quest ends. You want to do this fight with him above 50% health. So, also do not plunge attack these things. They'll just fucking eat you. So you want him to have above 50% health. And all that water down there is poisonous. Oh God! Went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> oh, oh! Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. Must be the wall. Well, what's on your mind? No, don't tell me. Those monsters making life difficult for you? Not really. Not be ashamed. We're all in the same boat, you know. I really have run up quite a debt to you. Perhaps the time has come. Ah. Allow me to assist you. And now, I go. Don't be slow. He's... I love Siegmeier, but... 
He's fucking... Oh, God. What? I got... What? Did I just get one-shotted by a Chaos Eater for no reason? Okay, then. Um... So... I'm very confused. I guess it got a counter hit? Even though I was in, not in my attack animation? I gotta be fucking human. God damn it. I'm confused as to what just fucking happened. And I think I might have just ended Seagward's quest because I don't know if it reverts to a... I don't know. I don't even know what's happened. And apparently my... Oh, because that thing spit fucking acid on me, you motherfucker. I keep forgetting about that. I don't know if that's fucked up Seawood's quest or not. But I'll see you guys when we get back there and we'll find out. If it did, again, hopefully I'll be able to show it off in uh, the bonus content. So I'll be back. So we're back. I don't know. I don't know if he's... I don't know if we fucked up or not, because I died. We'll find out if he gives me a speckled stone plate ring. No, 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 go away. Stop it. Stop it. You know what? I think we're good. I think he managed to survive on his own. He did. Okay, so we didn't get a fucked up... Why did I eat that? I'm just gonna get poisoned again. So we don't have a fucked up secret quest. Cool. I still can't believe that thing must have got a counter hit on me. I, I was attacking, or I had hit the attack button when it hit me, but I didn't know if, like, my attack had gone through. So that thing must have got a counter hit. And I don't know if I've talked about that mechanic... But if you attack something or you are attacked while you're performing an action, whether it be sprinting, another, your own attack, or I don't know if it counts if you get, uh, roll caught, but it'll, you'll get a counter hit and you take more damage. Sometimes a lot, like I got damn near one shot at it looked like. Oh, it just popped up on my... I don't think you're a mimic. No, you're not. Ooh, a Titanite slab. Sorry for the clicky clacks. I had to check Discord real quick. I'm <laughs> talking with Alucard about stupid stuff. We play Gundam Battle Operations, which if I have quite a few videos up on the channel and we were a part, or were, I am still a part of an English uh, Battle Operations 2 clan. He got kicked from it for inactivity. <laughs> and he joined up an, with another clan that is basically a part of ours. It's just like another, like a subsect of it. And he got kicked from it for inactivity. And I have yet to get kicked from the other clan for inactivity. I got click, kicked from the... Not the Discord, the uh, group on PlayStation. I'm no longer a part of it, but I frankly don't care. I don't play the game enough to care. At this point, I'm just leeching off of them. So, whatever. I don't remember how to climb back up. Hold on. Did I fuck up by jumping down here? I think I fucked up by jumping down here. I don't think I was supposed to. Hey, Chaos Eater. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, boy? Oh, well, I got I got two red titanite slabs. That's good. I don't remember how to get out of here. Um. Um. How does one get out? I don't remember. I honestly don't. Uh, is it this big branch? Ah. Uh, is it this one? It is this one. I'm really happy we didn't fuck up Secret's Quest. By we, I mean me. 
All right, we are gonna make a detour and go this way before we go and fight. Oh god, this is bad. Oh no 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 no! Get out of here! Get away from me! Please don't do this. Fuck. I don't know why I didn't use Wrath of God. So this might be a tiny bit, well, one of the longer episodes by the looks of things. But we are gonna head open, head over and open up a shortcut. And this is that respawning Titanite demon that I've talked about. This guy will respawn, and I do believe he drops two demon Titanite each time you kill him. But I have no need for him right now. Woo! I do want that crystal lizard, though. No! I had heal equipped! But this is where we find Solaire. Insane and hollow, and he is hostile. My very own son. I am the son. I've done it. I have. Oh. It's over. My son. It's setting. It's dark. So dark. So that is unfortunately what becomes of Solaire, but we do get his gear. Which is not a bad trade-off, as much as I love Solaire and everybody loves Solaire. Getting his gear is not a bad trade-off. That Sunlight Maggot, that one right there, you can see it with the glowing eyes. It drives him insane, and he apparently thinks it's the sun. I don't... But if we would have um, opened up the shortcut from Lost Isolith, we get a Sunlight Maggot, which will actually come in handy in New Game Plus for the Tomb of Giants. Now we can open this shortcut. This is the shortcut that you can open up um, from the Chaos Servant Covenant. If we would have opened it from this side by joining the Covenant, we could have come down here after we beat... Actually, before we beat Demon Fire Sage, we could have come down here, killed that thing, and we just would have found Solaire down here, and he just would have been like, you know, what the hell, kind of like, what's... Like, still trying to find his son. And everything would have been peachy. He would have survived, and we could have summoned him for the last boss. But we didn't. I will try to show that off in bonus content. Don't worry. We'll make sure Sunbro lives. Oh, you dick. You dick. You dick. The other quest I'm not going to be able to show off, and I hope I can definitely will not be till the bonus episode is Logan and Griggs, because I do not have enough intelligence anywhere near, and well, I shouldn't say anywhere near, but I don't have enough intelligence for either of them to teach me sorceries. We gotta go back up. Because you need, I want to say you need 10 for Griggs and 11 or 12 for Logan. I'll double check the numbers, but you need a certain amount of intelligence for either of them to teach you sorceries. Uh-oh, she's doing Firestorm. So this is one of the daughters of the Witch of Isolith. And we're getting invaded by Kurt. I would rather her not be here while I'm fighting him. Attack me, Kirk, so I can chug. Really? And now the fucking stone demon is going to run up here? Piss off, man. She's, she's preoccupied. He's dead. So, Kirk has invaded us in all three places. Is she just going to sit there and throw fucking chaos fireballs at me? Ha! Bitch. You get out of here. 
And we got his straight sword. And she drops the Isolith Catalyst, which I'm pretty sure you can use to cast Pyromancies. But we are now done with Kirk's quest, for lack of a better word. And we can return to the Chaos Servants. Man, I, I'm tempted to go sit at a bonfire and spend these souls because I fucking know I'm going to die to Bed of Chaos a stupid fucking way. I know it's going to fucking happen. I just fucking know it. I've never done Bed of Chaos and not died a dumb way. And we get Chaos Fire Whip down here. I know it's gonna happen. I know it is gonna happen because it always fucking happens. And I could cheese Bed of Chaos, and I totally would if I had a bow. I do have a bow. I don't have the decks to wield it though. Although you really don't. Mm. Well, you know what they say you only live once. I really don't want to lose these souls. Like, I want to use them. Give me a ring of sacrifice. I think I can still maintain a quick roll like this. No, I can't. Fuck. Uh, I really don't need to roll. But this is bed of chaos. What you do is you run over here while dodging the couple attacks that it does. And you want to attack these things on either... Wow. That did a shit ton. Um, I still need to use that Fire Keeper Soul. You want to attack these things on either side of it. Because there's one on the left and there's one on the right. And then here's where things get really stupid. The floor is going to start collapsing in random place. Not random, it's scripted where they break, but... I'm not surprised that that did not... Mother! See? I knew something was going to happen like that. I fucking knew it. Fucking called it. Someone pick up the phone, because I called it. I knew I would get killed some stupid asinine way by the Bed of Chaos. The good thing about the Bed of Chaos, if there is one, is that that thing that I broke, it stays broken. You don't have to re-break it, basically. Where's my orange charred ring? But I'm going to level up real quick, and I will see you back at the boss. So I will see you all in just a minute. All right, we are back outside the boss fog. Let's continue this. This boss is just, it's random. Like, there's just no, there's no other way to, like, say it. It just feels like a random fucking boss. And, I, and I'm pretty sure the community consensus is the same, is that it fucking sucks. It's not a good boss. I, where's the floor gonna break right there? Gonna break right there. Nope, I can't go that way. You can actually, where I was just running to, you can stand over there with a bow. Either a great bow, um. Pro God. I'm gonna get killed again because I'm gonna stop to heal and it's gonna. Yep! This is what I mean by random. Like, there's just nothing. There's nothing you can, like, do. I just, I don't like that boss. It's not like it's hard. It's just not well designed in my opinion, but see you when I get back. Okay, we're back at the boss fog. So that one spot I was running to, like I was saying, you can sit back there with a bow and you can shoot out the uh, branches guarding the thing, whatever it is, the, I don't know, the chaos orb. 
And then you can hit it, and then you're good. You can also... You used to be able to stand on either, like... You could throw firebombs, basically, over Bed of Chaos. God damn it. And I'm gonna get hit by this fucking thing, aren't I? So yeah, the floor, if you memorize where to go and everything, like, it's not that big of a deal, but I just... I don't like this boss. And I like how I'm using this fucking insulated mug thermos that I bought. That's kind of redundant, but... This thermos that I bought to try to reduce the amount of noise of me fiddling with a pop bottle lid. And all you guys can hear is the fucking... Oh god. Oh god. Firestorm. I'm probably gonna die. Um, but all you guys can hear is the fucking clanking of ice. Oh my god. That's... I'm gonna get killed. Jesus. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck in a loop. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Oh, you thought we were done. We're not done yet. Nope. Not yet. Almost, though. I... Mmm, that was my fault. God damn, you bet of chaos. I rolled, and I shouldn't have. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Three. I died. What? That's the fourth? Or is that the third? Oh my god. Well, I'll see you when I get back. Three times I've died to fucking bed of chaos. Though that third time was entirely... I mean, it was all my fault. But I mean, that third time was literally just... I rolled and I misjudged the distance and I rolled further than I needed to. And just fucking rolled off the side. But... Unless I do that same exact thing again, we're done with Beta Chaos. Or if it does something... Like Firestorm! I'm gonna get hit by fucking Firestorm. So yeah, now you're, I'm completely and utterly safe. There's nothing... It, no, I think Firestorm can hit me here. And it doesn't do Firestorm all that often. But this is the actual boss. This is Bed of K. Like, this is the boss. This is what's left of the Witch of Isola. Wow. Yeah, I didn't really play on PlayStation that much. But we get a cool 60,000 souls. And, um... Yeah, um, that's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, take it easy. Have a good one. Later.